Hi guys, this is the water loss detection pro uh, project that uh, my friends and I did for our final project in year three of electrical uh, engineering technology at Conestoga College. Our project was sponsored by Acapulco Pools and Umbrella Construction, and uh, we thank them for their support. So what we have here is the main panel with a power supply and a router. We can uh, start, stop, or e-stop the system from this point, and we have a shutoff over here. The pump underneath pumps water through a flow meter up into the system, which spreads out into three other flow meters, as well as an unmetered connection, which will simulate a loss. This is the inside of our panel box, where we have a PLC with a couple high-speed counter cards working, a relay bank feeding signal to the counter cards, as well as a couple other relays controlling the lights on the front of the box. As you can see, everything's wired in nice and neat. And this is the system at work. That chattering you hear is the relay bank. These are 5 volt zener diodes. These are 5 volt zener diodes trimming down the voltage to a usable signal. Over here, we have our control charts. This is where we're applying statistical process control to our, to our system. This is, this is the variance between our supply and our usage in the system. As you can see, it's following the control chart as it's supposed to, following within, following within the upper and lower control li limits, most signals being within one sigma of standard deviation. Now if we introduce a loss into the system, which my colleague is going to do for me, you can immediately see that the signals start going out of control. Most of our signals are now falling within two or three standard deviations of the mean. This would be cause for alarm in a statistical process control system. If we look at our loss chart, we can see that our supply, the, which has remained relatively constant, and our use are no longer in line with each other. Our losses have started to climb. Open it right up. When we introduce a more significant loss into the system, we can see that our data has gone significantly out of control. Referring back to our loss chart, we can see that our losses now exceed our usage, our metered usage. This system can be used in the water grid, it can be used with fuels, it can be used for many, many different applications to pinpoint the magnitude and the location of losses in a water system. Thank you very much.